Hello, thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Phil and I am in Shudham Warren today to tell you about the next race or race event that I've signed up for, which I'm fairly excited, but also a little bit scared about. And I've gone the wrong way already. <laughs> am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I think I have. I just got attracted to this lovely this lovely path here and I've gone the wrong way thanks to you all for watching uh, St Cuthbert's Way four day multi-day run that I did a couple of weeks ago I got quite a lot from that you know I really really enjoyed doing the multi-day thing and with that in mind my next event is a multi-day event I think it's a good step up from the St Cuthbert's way but it's not too out of my reach to uh, be able to do it it is three ultras in three days technically but it's only just over the marathon distance every day so we're not looking at 50k every day anyway the event itself is called the Druids Challenge and it's set along the ancient Ridgeway so I get to see the Ridgeway finally one of Britain's most iconic and oldest footpaths it's set in November I think about November the 11th I think and it's over three days and so and the total mileage is 83 miles accommodations part of the package all the checkpoints all the food on the checkpoints the breakfast and an evening meal now I don't know about you but I struggle for motivation to run regularly if I haven't signed up for anything uh, I mean I love running I get a lot of benefit from it but uh, I can't consistently get out there and do the miles that I need unless I've got something to train for it's weird that isn't it and also I just like being told what to do in a training plan I've got 14 weeks until the three-day event so I'm going to go back to the Chrissy Mail ultra marathon training plan that I've used many times before I'm going to stick to the 50k one um, I've only got 14 weeks and I'm just going to do 14 weeks of that plan yay I'm off the road this feels like one of these ancient byways where I used to run along when I used to live in Rawns in Northamptonshire you know like never been turned into a road but was used quite a lot back in the day of horse and carts and people and farmers and all that sort of stuff I've never taken part in a race in the winter before so that on itself is going to be a challenge dealing with the weather real proper mindset adjustment there I think when you could be literally running through mud in the pouring rain for three days which I've got to be honest doesn't fill me with much excitement but I you know trail running is about pushing yourself and seeing what you can do and achieve and when it's slightly harder you feel even better about yourself even more proud of the achievement so it's quite nice having these extra little layers to mentally deal with because that's all it's going to be it's just dealing with it mentally and I love challenging myself from that point of view I don't particularly like running through really overgrown grass because you don't really see where you're putting your foot and so I'd rather finish the run without going over my ankle go and put my foot down a, a rabbit hole or something I can't see and uh, live to run another day what's that in front of me is that a rabbit it doesn't it's not it's not running like a rabbit oh is it a pheasant these are pheasants aren't they yeah <laughs> there they go or, or grouse one of the two they're both girls I think anyway they're both little brown birds I was so lucky 
in the north of England with the weather that I'm guaranteed to get wet, I think, which is fine for me, but it's going to be crap for the video. Uh, this Insta360 camera is not so great in the low light anyway. So, and also I record my audio separately, the little DJI mic, which by the way, today I've hidden underneath my top here. I have no idea what it's going to sound like, but I noticed on the St. Cuthbert's Ways videos, I put it right next to my water bottle and all you can hear is, <laughs> all you can hear is the water bottle sloshing around, which wasn't so great. Ah, you see, now this is why I came over here. These beautiful trees here in Sugar Warren, about the car, somewhere over there. But I was hoping to spend more time in the trees. Just something about them, you know, I'm not sure what it is. Probably because I grew up in Chingford near Epping Forest. My earliest memories are running through woods. Not the same trees as these, but just have fond memories of it, you know, being a little boy. It reminds me, I must do that as a day's run. There's a path that goes all the way through Epping Forest from Chingford, where I used to live, all the way to Epping, I think it is, which would be really lovely. Look at all these lovely poppies here, wow. The wife would love these. Look how bright they are. That is so lovely. Wow, really liked catching the sun there. Well, this is getting better and better, this run. <laughs> Excellent. Heading towards the woods here. I've sort of been skirting them a little bit. Hopefully, we'll be running through the centre there in a minute. It's a hill, it's a hill. No hills fill. Doesn't run up hills, particularly <laughs> when there's sand underneath your feet. This is one of those fire tracks or fire roads in the wood, isn't it? It's to stop uh, fire spreading. Just to let you know that uh, I will be doing more interviews in the runner's mindset, finding out about what makes endurance runners tick why they do what they do, how they overcome the, harsh, uh, the hardness of running great distances, what do they do if they have problems and, and why they do it. The format's gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna have a go at recording the interviews instead of doing them live and then overlaying some extra video and some extra cutaways over the top of those just to make them look a little bit more interesting and maybe allow the person I'm interviewing to be a bit more relaxed. The training will not go very smoothly. I know that already. I know it's a bit negative, but I never stuck to the last one at all. And I've got to decide what I'm gonna do about that. I know I've got less time to do things. And I know that I won't necessarily do every single session. I've got to decide what the happy medium is. Should I make sure that I do the hours that week that I'm training for? should I just get out on the times request on the times required and do what I can on those days let me know what you think in the comments below if you don't stick to a training regime what do you do instead do you try and catch up for the weekends when you've got more time or do you just do what you can do man this is so lovely here. So thanks for coming on a run with me today, listening to my new news. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the event. Have you run the Druids Challenge? Do you think it sounds good? Am I a complete nut job for trying to do a three day ultra marathon in the winter 
let me know what you think in the comments below once again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time somewhere out on the trails take care for now Oh, I just went the wrong way. <laughs> That's what you get for poncing around in front of the camera.